Can you solve this tricky geometry question asked in SAT exam? We are given a circle with a chord measuring 8 units. Inside this circle, two smaller circles are placed in such a way that both are tangent to this chord and also to the larger circle, just like this. And the question is to find the area of the blue shaded region. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it, and when you're ready, you can always come back to verify your answer. Alright, let us solve this together. There are many ways to solve this problem, but we are going to use two methods. First, Geometry and Pythagorean Theorem, and the second, Intersecting Chords Theorem. Method 1, Geometry and the Pythagorean Theorem. To solve using this method, let us mark the centers of all the circles, and let the radius of this circle be A, and the radius of this B, B. Now look, if the radius of this circle is A units, then its diameter is simply 2 times A. Similarly, if the radius of this circle is B units, then its diameter is 2 times B. That means the diameter of this large circle is equal to 2A plus 2B, and radius of this large circle will be 2A plus 2B, all divided by 2, which simplifies to A plus B. So this length here is A plus B units, right? Again from the diagram, we can see that the area of this blue shaded region is simply the area of this large circle minus the area of this circle with radius A minus the area of this circle with radius B. And we know that the area of a circle is given by the formula PI times the radius squared. So substituting the values, we get area of the blue region equals pi times the quantity a plus b squared minus pi times a squared minus pi times b squared. Now taking pi common and simplifying this using the algebraic identity, we have area equals pi times the quantity a squared plus 2 ab plus b squared minus a squared minus b squared and canceling a squared and b squared both sides, we are left with area equals 2 times pi times ab. Let us mark this as equation 1 and put this here. Now look carefully. If this length here is 2 times a, and this length here is a plus b, then this remaining length will be 2 times a minus the length a plus b, which simplifies to a minus b. Now let's draw radius from the center of the larger circle, forming a right-angled triangle like this. Here in this triangle, one leg has length of 4 units, the other leg has length of a minus b, and the hypotenuse has length a plus b. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we have a plus b squared equals 4 squared plus a minus b squared. Now simplifying this using the algebraic identity, we get a squared plus 2, a b plus b squared equals 16 plus a squared minus 2, a b plus b squared. And canceling a squared and b squared from both sides, we have 2 a b equals 16 minus 2 a b. Adding 2ab to both sides, we get 4ab equals 16. Dividing both sides by 4, we find ab equals 4 units. So substituting ab equals 4 into our area formula from equation 1, we get area of the blue shaded region equals 2 times 4 times pi, which equals 8 pi square units. That is our answer for method 1. Let's now solve the same question using the intersecting chords theorem. To solve this question using the intersecting chords theorem, let us first define this chord as AB and this another chord of circle as CD with their point of intersection as E. So according to the intersecting chords theorem, that is when two chords intersect inside a circle like this, the product of the lengths of the two parts of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the two parts of the other chord. That means this length AE multiplied by this length EB is equal to this length CE multiplied by this length, ED. So substituting the values, we get 2A multiplied by 2B equals 4 multiplied by 4. And simplifying, we have 4AB equals 16. Again, dividing by 4 from both sides, we get AB equals 4 units. And substituting AB equals 4 into our area formula, we again find area of the blue shaded region equals 2 times 4 times pi, which equals 8 pi square units. The same result as our first method. Pretty amazing, isn't it? One question, yet two different ways to solve it. But wait, before you go, here is a quick bonus challenge for you. Can you find the area of this blue shaded region using a variable like x instead of a number? Think it through and drop your answer in the comments below. Let us see who can figure it out. If you found this explanation helpful and learned something new, do not forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more mind-bending math puzzles. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.